we talked the last time with you, SLS and, and Orion had, had gotten back to the, the VAB ahead of Hurricane Ian. And, and first and foremost, we're really fortunate that um, the people that work at uh, Kennedy, for the most part, came through uh, the storm well, and, and the Kennedy Space Center as a whole did continue to you know, look out and think of the folks on the western coast of Florida that didn't fare so well. Um, I want to thank our federal partners again that helped us with all the forecasts uh, to get there, um, to make the decisions we needed to. Um, it's invaluable help to us. Since we've been back at the VAB, you know, the work has gone really well, and Cliff's going to talk more about that in a minute. Uh, we are on track to roll back um, to the launch pad uh, this evening. Um, we just finished a call uh, just, just under an hour ago where we were um, uh, thinking about this uh, storm that uh, we're keeping an eye on uh, that's heading towards Florida. Um, to understand the impacts that we might have uh, on, that might have on the vehicle, and, and we needed to think through some things, and, and came to the decision that we're going to go ahead and roll out this evening uh, in advance of our November 14th launch attempt. Um, you know, I think we're confident in uh, the decision process that went into that. We, we talked about a lot of the same things we talked about with uh, with the hurricane. Certainly the wind force is not the same and the duration is not the same, but things that we need to look at and uh, life on the vehicle um, and uh, and decided that our uh, our team, our engineering team, so it was, it was okay risk uh, to go out tonight. Um, you know, we learned a lot after our tanking test. I think you heard some of that as we, we learned a a lot about that pressure balance across our quick disconnect and how to manage the supply pressure to get the optimal seat performance that we have. So, so we're looking forward to that, uh, that attempt on the 14th, uh, seven minutes after midnight. We do have two backup dates, um, November 16th at 1.04 a.m. and November 19th at 1.45 a.m. You know, we, we did talk uh, about our preference to launch in the daylight. We, it's a preference. It's not a requirement. Um, I did ask the technical teams to go back and take a look um, and get everybody to weigh in again uh, after everything we've learned on the launch attempts and closer to launch than we were whatever a year and a half ago when the decision was made that it was okay to launch at night. And everyone uh, is, is comfortable with launching in the evening, and, and I think everyone – feels really good about the launch. I'll say what I've said multiple times. Everybody asks, are you confident in, uh, in going after a launch attempt? Uh, you know, if we weren't confident, we wouldn't roll out. If we weren't confident, we wouldn't start the countdown um, when we do. So, um, yeah, we're confident moving forward. You know, I, I do want to reflect on the fact that this is a challenging mission. We've seen challenges just getting all our systems to work together, and that's why we do a flight test. It's it's about uh, going after the things that can't be modeled, and uh, and and we're learning uh, uh, by taking more risk on this mission before we put crew on there, and those challenges you know come with uh, this complex of a vehicle and and where we're flying and and uh, and how we're getting there. Um, you know we'll we'll continue to look at things on on uh, the vehicle on SLS performance as we. Uh, go uphill uh, to make sure we're getting the performance and the controllability out of all the uh, propulsive elements um, on the first stage and our ICPS uh, performance, raising the, the perigee and giving us the TLI transluter injection that we need. And then, of course, Orion um, getting through all its deployments of the solar arrays and, and testing of its propulsion system. The, the good part in all this is uh, our teams have continued to grow and learn uh, about the vehicle, um, and we're we're uh, confident. But like I said, it's a flight test, so we'll continue to look for every every bit of uh, sign everywhere along the mission. We we focus a lot about getting to T zero, but I think uh, uh, I think uh, the flight control team and Rick and Judd and and Mike Serafin and mission management have given you some of the things that we look for during the mission too to meet our objectives of understanding performance and testing the heat shield and getting the vehicle back. So uh, the preparation have, have gone um, you know, really well. 
uh, since getting back to the VAB, and we've certainly had unexpected things through this whole flow, um, including the hurricane. So you know, just a little over a week from getting that countdown started and, and continuing back on this uh, this path towards this challenging flight test. 